Adrian Flux Arena for the draw for the first round of the feeder pairs. Not long now, just got to find the arena and it's just up here. So here we go. And it is busy. Not quite sure where we're going. So I'm going to just pull it in here. Dodgy old boys over there, Alex Bates is another one. I think that's where I've got to do the draw. Right, let's get these pegs done and see where we go. Okay, we've done the draw. We're in two different sections, A and B section. Um, one peg's B11, which is right now where we practice, which is really crap. And the other one's A15, which is a lot better. Now, I'm going to phone my partner up and see which one he wants. I'll persuade him to have the B11. So I had the phone call and I've actually been very nice. I suggested that my partner, Mr. Kipling, go in A section, which we think might be slightly better than B section, but time will tell. If I'm being honest with you, I just didn't want to get the van for all the mud, so I haven't got far to go. So, off to the peg, let's get everything sorted and see if we can psych out the maggot drowners. Right, here we go. Down an old Fen Road. I think I'm going the right way. I've come in from the opposite direction as I would normally come, so I'm not 100% certain I'm actually going the right way. Ah, yes I am. Here we go. Perfect. Oh dear, this is where I get stuck. I'll take the front end off. Ooh. Come on, jalopy. Fenland legend, Dave Williams. Is that your peg? Hello. Morning, David. Hello, Things looking good. Who cares about the fishing? We've got burgers on the go for brekkie. Oh, that looks nice. And look what we got down there. It's a queue forming. They're just hanging around. Waiting for breakfast. Well, do they know the coffee's ready? This is all tactics to psych them out. If I can get a bream first chuck as well, then we're right in the money. About 15 minutes to go, and uh, I seem to have fed most of my match length with bacon butties and real coffee. So hopefully that's completely put them off their stride, and I can thrash them. So this is my peg. Normal run of the mill, middle level stuff, so you've got an option really. Um, far bank is a preferred line. There's also a couple of lines you can fish sort of near the middle on this side. So, what's going to happen next is going to be the bombardment. Get the swim feeder going and get that, get some bait on the far line in the middle. So, the plan is feed quite heavy on the far line and just leave it. Feed what I call the noddy line, just this side of the middle. Only put two or three swim feeders full and just fish over the top of that for the first hour. Then we'll go long and see if any bream have moved in. Because if the bream move in, then you've obviously got a very good chance of winning the match. If the bream don't move in, you have got no chance of winning it and you are scraping around for skimmers to try and win your section. So that is the plan. Thank you. 
I've had three. No, well, two little skimmers and a perch. I'm getting bite a chuck on that noddy line. But um, it's a horrible little. The, the tip's vib The tip's vibrating, but I've just chucked. I've got to go, hold on. Still there. Here we go, just leaving the just leaving the match. Ended up with a masterful three pound of bits. Um yeah, it was hard work. There was a lot of nothing caught as well. I think the winning weight was 13 pounds something. I'll find out all the weights and post them at the end of this video. Um, Mr. Kipling, my partner, he had just over a pound. So it's all to play for next match because it's cumulative weight over the three match series. So not a lot between all the pairs after the first match. So well organised Alex and all the men helping him. That's been brilliant. And next week, let's hope myself and Mr Kipling can get into a big shoulder bream and smash everybody outside. That's the way to do it. The feeder pairs is a three match series and the second match is on Sunday August the 2nd. Myself and Mr Kipling will be participating again. I'll bring the burger van down and if anyone draws near to me and fancies a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, just pop in and say hello. One final thing before we go, Mr Bates, Alex Bates, just like to draw your attention to your scorecard and how the mighty swing tip thrashed you by an ounce and a half. All I'm going to say buddy is you need to lift your game. To find the full results for the event on Facebook find Tackle and Baits and all will be displayed on there and finally just to thank again Alex and all the guys helping him it must be incredibly difficult to organise such a large event, particularly with the COVID restrictions. I think you all did fantastically well. Really looking forward to next Sunday.